Live science says of Darwinian evolution, it can turn dinosaurs into birds, apes into humans, and amphibious mammals into whales. The scientific method is, must be observable and repeatable, so could you give me one piece of observable evidence for Darwinian evolution? Okay, I would point to, as one great example is, look at the genetics of the stickleback. What's that? Uh, so stickleback fish are a very interesting collection of species that were recently isolated after the end of the Ice Age. What have they become? They're, they're various species of sticklebacks. They stayed as fish? Well, of course. Can you think of any observable evidence where there was a change of kinds? Fish. Human beings are still fish. Human beings are fish? Why, yes, of course they are. How long did that take? A couple of billions of years, millions. A couple of millions? How is that observable? It's not. We came out of the ground as a mammal, and one mammal created... Come out of the ground? Didn't we come out of the sea? Huh? Well, initially in the beginning, we came out of the ground and the sea. After the great destruction of the... the... So do we have lungs or gills when we came out of the sea? You want to know something? Those that were in the sea, I guess, had gills, and those that were on land had lungs. But if we came out of the sea, we had you gills want, in the sea. You want to know something? Who knows that we came out of the sea or we came out, we evolved from mammals? So you don't know? Huh? Of course I don't know. I'm accepting that they did their science correctly. Could you give me an example of Darwinian evolution, not adaptation or speciation, but a change of kinds? <laughs> These are changes of kinds. They're still fish. They're distinctly different fish. In action, actually, in the Galapagos. Could you give me one instance? Yes. We have an example from a group of birds called Darwin's finches. And you take a look at the difference between the finches on the islands that all started out. I mean, that's very, very observable. But that's not Darwinian evolution. There's been no change of kinds. How much of the finches become? They become genetically new and anatomically new, recognizably different species. So they're still finches? Well, of course they're still finches, yes. So they're not a change of, there's no change of kind. Little birds that he, uh, that he had observed that... Oh, what did they become? Um, their beaks, their beak shapes. They're, they're still colors. birds. Yes, three finches that turn into different types of birds. Based they're on still the finches. Beaks. Well, for example, Darwin and, and his study on evolution of uh, the birds on the island that he went on to there. Their beaks changed? Their beaks. Uh, but they're still birds. There's no change of kinds. That's within no, 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 the kind. evolution on the beaks. That's so that's called adaptation. It's not Darwinian evolution. There's no change of kinds. There's no different animal involved. I want something that shows me Darwin's belief in a change of kinds is scientific. Spoke of a change of kind. Can you think of any observable evidence for Darwinian evolution where there's a change of kind? Uh, change of kind. Change of kind. Uh, I'm going to have to think about that one a little longer. You give me anything that I can see, observe, and test, which is the scientific method for Darwinian evolution, a change of kinds. Test and observe. Could you give me observable evidence, which is the scientific method for Darwinian evolution, a change of kinds? I gotta think about it. <laughs> um, so you want the evidence of it? I would say... I cannot, I think. Um, hmm. Hard question, actually. Mitochondrial DNA. Uh, so, can you repeat the question again? Could you give me any observable evidence, just one, for Darwinian evolution? Uh, let me think about that for a sec. Um, hmm. okay. Observable evidence, something where we don't have to exercise faith something that can be observed, like the scientific process, observable? Hmm, that's a good question. That one I'm not quite sure. So you can't think of any observable evidence for evolution? No. How do you know it's true? Hmm. I'm not sure. So Darwinian evolution is not observable, it's not scientific? 
I guess so. Do you think everything is intelligently designed? Um, no, I don't believe that things are intelligently designed. Okay, you seem like an intelligent person, so I'm going to ask you something. I'd like you to make me a rose, okay? How would you make a rose? I don't have the, the, the capabilities to do no, that. Hang on. No, it's not intelligently designed, so you should better whip me up a rose real quick. Do you believe a rose is intelligently designed? Definitely not. In order for me to know what to make, I have to know what a rose is. Well, it's got a seed, so you've got to start with nothing and you've got to create a seed from nothing. Oh. Can you do that? No, I can't. Could you make a rose from nothing? No. You can't make something from nothing. It's, it's just basic, you know, science. A rose from nothing? A rose. Just like, I, I can't, honestly. Why not? Me, I just, I have no supernatural abilities. Can you think of any famous atheists? Uh, I believe um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, I can't agree to the claims by atheists that I'm one of that community. Can you name a few? Uh, famous atheists. Uh, apparently not. Oh, start with Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton said, the most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. It's very hard to believe that someone would be willing to pay off the debts that's not his own. As in, yeah, well, the Bible says God is love. Yes. You know, and he's kind and generous and, and merciful, and in his great kindness, he became a human being and suffered for us. I'm not talking about a religion that says you've got to strive to get to heaven. I'm telling you, the Bible says heaven is a free gift of God. You cannot earn everlasting life. Doesn't matter how religious you are, how good you are. God commended his love toward us, and that while we had sinners, Christ died for us. And then he rose from the dead and defeated death. And this is how the Bible puts it. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works, least any man boast. So eternal life is a free gift of God, and it comes because of God's mercy, not because of anything we do. Make sense? Yeah, makes sense. I've been reading the Bible every day for more than 40 years. There's no mistakes in it, Mike. Any mistakes that we think are our mistakes. And you can trust God's word. I mean, think of how you trust professors and science books that tell you you're a, you're a primate. You trust and believe that. So how much more should you trust a God who cannot lie? Let me show you how fallible we are. Spell the word shop. Shop? Shop. S-H-O-P. What do you do when you come to a green light? Stop. Green light. Huck. <laughs> so we're all fallible. We make mistakes. So imagine if you're making a mistake when you say this whole of creation came together because some explosion of nothing that produced everything, seasons, the birds, the trees, the flowers, the sun, the moon, the stars, and the marvels of the human body. So are you going to think about this? Oh, yeah, no, I, I think about this quite a lot, believe me. My brother, like I said, he's a hardcore Christian. He's going to Yale Divinity School right now, so he talks to me about this all the time. Anatomical clues to human evolution from fish. Human beings are still fish. Human ears evolved from ancient fish gills. We came out of the ground as a mammal. Heavier dinosaur arms led evolution to birds. Do you think we're related to pigs? Do you think we've got a common ancestor in pigs? Yes. Proof that fearsome T-Rex evolved into a chicken. Do you think you're a primate? Yes, I am. Are you a talking primate? I am. Are you a cousin of bananas? Why, yes. When whales walked the land. I'm accepting that they did their science correctly. I generally trust the scientific community. I'm going to trust what those experts did, those experts uh, came up with.